Hi, this is Holly from River Studio Downloads. I'm here today making a quick tutorial video to show you how you would add a cover to your planner once you have your planner installed in your app. I'm doing this with Google Drive installed um, using Safari and I will be putting my planner inside of GoodNotes 5. Those are what I know, so that is what I recommend and what I teach. So let's get started. The screen you hear, see here is my planner open without a cover. I'm going to take you back to Good Notes by hitting the blue back arrow on the left. And this is what um, it would look like without a cover. So if you look in the middle of the screen, you see this teal outline with the cute mushrooms. That one I, is a cover I just added. So the one next to it and all the rest that you see with writing and a little Polaroid picture do not have covers installed. So I'm going to show you real quick how you do that. So you would um, tap on the planner you would like to add the cover to. Most important thing is that you leave the planner open like this. Don't go back and get it to that small thumb tab um, picture size, otherwise it won't import the cover into that planner. So next what you need to do is go back to that PDF page with the downloads of the planner covers. So the way I do that is I click my home button on the outside of my frame here. I go to my Safari app because that's what I was using. I tap on that. I go up in the right corner and double click on, or click on those double pages and then I can see all the pages I had open in Safari. So I'm going to tap on that one. Now this was one of the, um, <clears throat> this is the, your planner options download page. So at the bottom here um, you have the link to watch one of these videos. Then below that you have 80 stunning cover options. You click on that going to take you over. I'm sorry it's clicking around because I had something over. No, I don't want to learn that. Got it. Okay, so here we are. Sorry for all that other stuff, but yours will open up to a page that looks just like this. Now your planners will look a little different when you actually click on them because they all have a frame around the outside that coordinates with the um, cover. So let's go ahead and just click on one real quick. I'm going to click on this one. It'll open it. See, here's the frame. And the way you can go through and find the cover that you would like, if you scroll back and forth on your screen, it'll let you get to the next cover. So it may take you a little bit. You can go back and forth and find the cover that you would like. Once you're to the cover you want, up in the right corner, there's three little dots. You go ahead and tap on that. Gives you this drop down window. About in the middle, it says open in. There's four little arrows that point in all the directions. You tap on that. It gets it ready to export. Now when this window pops up, you need to find the app that you would like to put it in. We're already using GoodNotes 5, so if you slide this bar back and forth, you can find your app icon or in the list below, and that is movable too if you have a lot of them in there. So I'm clicking, clicking on the GoodNotes 5. Now this is probably the most important step. Remember this. Um, you have to import, import it to current document. With the planner, you import it as a new document. When you're putting a cover on, import to current document. That is why we left this planner open on our screen. So I'm clicking on that blue bar, import to current document. Just takes a second because it's just one page. Then you're going to go up in the left corner and click on the second icon in that has four little squares. It's giving you this page that has all the planner pages in it. We're going to rearrange one and two. Um, don't go through and rearrange a bunch of pages in here because then it's going to mess up your hyperlinks. Um, but we can rearrange one and two, no problem. So just hold on that picture of the cover, slide it over to the number one position, and let go. And it switches them. Then you would close this screen by hitting the close. And there it is. I'm going to take you back one page to show you. I'm hitting the blue back button. And there we are. So it moved it to the front here, and you can see that is the cover we just added. So it's just taking a second there, and then when you click on it, it would open it up. So that's how easy it is. So I hope this uh, video was helpful. If you have more questions, please message me in Etsy. I'm always here to help. Thank you.